Hello again guys. Today we're going to be focusing on battery saving profile in Atasca. This profile will be responsible for disabling battery hungry features and also enabling and disabling previous profiles. We're going to be using Atasca Twilight plugin, so have a look on the screen for the link to download it. We're going also to create a new variable total brightness and this variable will be offset by daytime variable which will specify whether it's a daytime outside or not. We will start with using our plugin to determine the daytime. So if you're going to state and select plugins, choose the twilight plugin which is responsible for telling your device sunset and sunrise hours depending on your locations. For this example I'm going to use fixed location. I'm going to create a new task. This task will be responsible for handling information whether it's a daytime or nighttime. During the daytime I want my variable to be set at 50 and during the night time at zero. I'm going to use these values to set our brightness levels. I'm going to set variable daytime to 50, link it to profile and create an exit task. After renaming my task, I'm going to create a trigger which is responsible for battery level. You can find it in a power section, choose battery level. First I'm going to set the battery levels for when the device is fully charged to about 52%. In this range I want my device to behave as normal and I also want my device to use stable data connection which means I'm going to disable profiles responsible for handling 3G and LTE time synchronization. Once this is done, I'm going to create another profile that's going to handle the battery when it's below 50%. I'm going to set the range from about 40 to 51. This is the range when I want to enable the profile responsible for handling 3G and LTE connections. This is also when I want to define my total brightness variable. We're going to choose variable set and I want total brightness to be equal to 40 plus daytime. For this statement to be true I also need to check do math as it will calculate the total value. Now we need to select the brightness of our device and set it to our variable total brightness. This means that at this battery level, our brightness will be 50 steps brighter during the daytime than during the nighttime. After this, I'm going to enable our profiles. Another step will be creating a profile for battery levels from 20 to 40. At this level, I want to start thinking about disabling some of the features like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I'm also going to copy previously created profiles for display brightness and lower it down a little bit.
Lastly, I'm going to create a profile when the battery is very low and I want to save as much power as possible. I'm going to paste the same tasks for handling display of device and I'm going to disable everything to conserve as much power as possible. I don't want this profile however to run when I'm at home, so I'm going to restrict some levels from working when I'm at home. Obviously I'm always near the power source so I can recharge the phone anytime I want. In Intelligent Sleep Profile we've created home variable that describes whether we are home or not. We can use it now. Please note that this restriction won't be added to battery level from 52 to 100. As a tradition by now, I'm just going to quickly rename all the profiles. Now we don't want our battery saving profile to restrict us from actually using our device, so we want to set another two conditions. One to tell us whether we're currently using Wi-Fi and one whether we're using Bluetooth. I'm going to create a variable for Wi-Fi and one for Bluetooth. And then before the device decides to disconnect Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, it will check whether we're currently using this feature. I'm going to open tasks for each battery level and make sure whenever device wants to disable the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to check whether our newly created variables are set to zero. This means at that time we won't be using a device and it's okay to disable the feature. I'm going to quickly rename the profiles as well. As you can see, these two variables can be also used to replace the condition in our previous tutorial when we were using a state Wi-Fi not connected as one of the conditions to trigger our profiles. This completes our tutorial. Feel free to add additional features whenever you need to, to or restrict the profile from working in more locations, for example work. Thank you for watching, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one.